Welcome back, you guys. I'm so glad you could join me for another video. You guys always ask, how do I get so much volume in my short, lifeless, limp hair? And I'm here to share with you guys my 10 ways to create more volume. So if you wanna learn how to get this bouncy, luminous hair, just keep on watching. First tip, we are going to start in the shower. I already did that, my hair is nicely clean. And the first tip is going to be using some type of voluminizing shampoo and conditioner. First step you wanna do is obviously get naked, get into the shower, and start with your favorite volumizing shampoo. And obviously do your research. Some shampoos will not work for you that work for me. If you have thicker, coarse hair, curly, whatever it is, do your research, ask your hairstylist. This is the one that works really well for me. I start lathering into my hair, about a quarter size amount, and then rinse it out and move on to this voluped conditioner. And I only focus the conditioner from my middle to my ends, just because I don't like putting regular conditioner into my roots at all, because it will weigh down my hair a lot. Once I'm nice and squeaky clean, I come out of the shower and I towel dry my hair very gently, kind of just like do it right here on the bottom and that's it, I don't rub it in there too much. And then this is where the tip number two comes in. You wanna invest into some kind of boost volumizing products. For example, there is mousse, there is mist sprays, there is sprays like thickening sprays like this. But for my hair, because it is really thin and fine, I like to stay away from the mousse. I just don't like the way it gives my hair that weird texture once I dry it out. It kind of gives like that tacky feeling. So I like to stick with something light and some kind of mist. So this one is the Kenra Thickening Spray. It's amazing, it works very well. Like I did say, it's very light, it doesn't weigh down my hair, and it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good, it smells like a candy. Seriously, all these products make my hair smell amazing. I just kind of like sit there, sniff it. It smells like cotton candy, you guys. So the reason why these kind of root boosting products are amazing for your hair is because they provide structure and hold to your limp, fine hairs to add that great volume once you're done styling. So for tip number three, I will show you two different ways of how you can dry your hair to get more volume to your roots and to the rest of your hair. And one thing I do recommend is don't use the highest heat setting just because it will damage your hair and it will dry it out even more than you need to. You will probably look like Einstein, you know, when you get the crazy hair. I don't think you want that. Well, he's smart though. Yeah, but his I, hair was not pretty. So I recommend using the medium or the low heat setting. You think you're funny, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm using my GHD blow dryer and I'm using the concentrator nozzle as well. And I'm gonna use a brown brush. So the second way you can dry your hair is obviously dry your hair upside down. I like to dry it with a paddle brush, kind of just brush it towards the top or towards the bottom. When you dry your hair, it helps lift your roots away from your scalp and it sets it in place because of the heat. And then once I'm done drying it, about 90%, I flip it back around and I use the paddle or the round brush to kind of give it a nice blowout towards the end to finish it off and style it. So once I get to the top, it's 90% dry. I actually start sectioning my hair from the very back and I do section by section until I reach the front. So I pull this back and I make sure to blow dry my hair, get a paddle or a round brush and I'd like to dry it like this, going towards the top and then rounding it out towards the back. And this just gives my hair so much volume and it gives it a beautiful blowout. Tip number four is to create a different parting line. So like I mentioned this many times, this is what really, really, really works for me and my hair is let's say I part my hair usually on my left side or my right side, I will part it and dry it on the opposite side and then I'll flip it back and style it that way and it will give me instant volume. So for today, I will part my hair on my right side so I'm gonna dry it on my left, all of it towards the right. All right, let's flip it to the other side. Let's go on the right side and flip it around. Do you guys see that? Works every time. Changing your parting line does really help to amplify the volume in your roots, just because if you are used to one side of your hair or even in the middle and then you switch it up, it does kind of reset your parting line. And if you do need extra help to hold the parting line in place, just spray a little hairspray. And also what helps to hold is heat. If you use a cooler setting or a warm setting to set it in place, it will stay there all day long. And concerning the parting line, I actually told my husband to try that because he's growing his hair on the very top and it was kind of limping to one side. So I told him, hey, try it out, do it on the other opposite side, dry it like that and bring it back to the other side. He did it and was amazed, never looks back. 
Tip number five is going to be focusing on hot rollers. Yes, hot rollers are pretty much old school, but I love them. They work awesome, they do wonders for my short, limp hair. And I only focus on this top section here where I want the volume. Let me quickly turn these on. And I'm using the T3 hot rollers. They're expensive, but they're definitely worth the price. Great investment for your hair. They're awesome. Handle with caution, you guys. It's kind of hot. Wrap this around and down and clip. And you always want to roll away from your face to give as much volume as possible. So this is what I do. I have two on the top, smaller one and a larger one in the back. Two small and two big ones in the back. If you want extra hold for your volume, just add a little bit of hairspray to each section before you roll it. And then once you take it out, you'll have that extra hold that you're looking for. And for the next 20 minutes, I will probably be drinking my green smoothie from Panera Bread. It is delicious. Look at that, amazing. So I'm just gonna take my paddle brush and just brush my hair out. And look at that volume. So pretty, looks like you got a blowout and you have like 10 times more volume. So let's say it's like your second or third day hair and it's feeling a little limp and you just don't have the time to use hot rollers or you simply don't have them. Use a really big curling iron and we're gonna do exactly the same thing. We're gonna do by sections on the very top of my head and we're gonna curl them away from my face to add that volume. This takes not even five minutes to do. Taking my curling iron, I'm gonna clamp it, not towards the very end, but I'm just rolling it underneath like a roller. Keep it there for five to 10 seconds depending how big of a section you've got. Let go. You see that? Instant volume. And the same thing with the roller is you can add some hairspray to each section before you roll it. I feel like a 60s or 50s housewife. The crazy volume in my hair. Love it. So tip number seven is going to make my hair even crazier. <laughs> We're bringing it back to the 80s. We're going to crimp our roots. I know, crazy. Who even has a crimper anymore these days? But if you do and you like crimping your hair or you like that texture it gives, do this. It's fast, it's easy. You only wanna focus on your hair that's not on the top, but underneath, like the second layer underneath your top hairs, because you don't want that crazy crimped root on the very top, unless you like that look. And plus, this is also really great for when you braid to give your hair extra texture. So if you want it hairy, there we go. I give it to you, very hairy. <laughs> So what it basically does is it gives your roots the illusion that you have a lot more hair just because of that crimping effect and texture. It's really great. It's really fast, easy. Like I said, it's beautiful for your braids as well. It gives a lot of texture and volume. So tip number eight is where I'm going to focus on the products that help finish styling your hair and give your hair extra volume and extra hold. The first one is a dry shampoo, and the one I'm loving is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana, the black version. And the reason why dry shampoos are really great is because A, they give you volume, two, they give you texture, and three, they give you the extra day or two days even to not wash your hair because washing your hair every single day, especially for very thin, fine hair, is not the best because you're stripping down your natural oils. So basically what I do, very, very simple, I just take my dry shampoo, add it to my roots, let it sit there for like five to 10 seconds, and then I take my fingers and just kind of work the product into my roots. And then let's say, you don't like using dry shampoos or it's just not working for you with that specific dry shampoo, there is specific products for the very last step is finishing sprays. And this is the BB Thickening Dry Spun Finish Spray. This is after everything that you've done, this is the last step. So what you wanna do is just take it to your roots, kind of like a dry shampoo. And this adds a lot of hold to my hair a lot of volume and it's just great. It works very well, especially in the humid heat here in Florida. If I feel like my hair kind of just like fell down, I'll take this again and it just does wonders. It is such a great product. So this brings me to tip number nine, back combing, back brushing, or teasing your hair. I actually like to stay away from teasing my hair as much as possible because the more you tease it, the more it gets tangled and it's very hard to kind of unravel it again. So I like to stick with back combing or back brushing my hair. So what that is, is you take a paddle brush, any kind of size paddle brush would do, and you take your hair, take a section of hair, I like to brush it out first, and then very gently, just back comb your hair, just like that. Very gently back comb it. 
So it's kind of like teasing, but it's a lot gentler. And then once I'm done, I kind of place it down and very gently just comb the very top. I can still run my hands through and it doesn't feel like a rat's nest in my hair. And it gives that beautiful volume and it gives it texture as well. Whew. I know it's a lot of information you guys, but they're all very simple. And the very last tip that I can give you guys is to sleep with a very high top knot or a high ponytail. Because I'm talking with my experience because I have short hair, the only way I can do a top knot is with my top hair right here. So I will just take a section where I want the most volume. And I make sure this is not like tight to my head. It's kind of loose, all of this hair right here. And then just tie it back with a ponytail and just go to sleep. Wake up the next morning, take it out and it will be beautiful, voluminous, and you will have a slight wave. And yeah, that's, that's it, you guys. There's so many ways to get more volume in your hair, but this is my top 10. And just a quick disclaimer, no, I don't do all of this to my hair every single time. I'll do it maybe like one or the other. I'll do maybe like the hot roller one day, blow dry it, and then maybe add some dry shampoo. And then the next time I will crimp my hair, grab a little bit of the dry spun finish spray. It all depends on what my hair needs that day or that week. I don't recommend to do this all at once because that's a lot of stuff in your hair, a lot of product and heat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some maybe tips on how to create more volume to your hair. If you have some secrets that you guys like to share, comment down below, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys very soon in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me. I am Milana, and I love you guys all so very much. Bye.